Wireless power transfer or wireless energy transmission is the transmission of electrical power from a power source to a consuming device without using discrete man-made conductors. It is a generic term that refers to a number of different power transmission technologies that use time-varying electromagnetic fields. Wireless transmission is useful to power electrical devices in cases where interconnecting wires are inconvenient, hazardous, or are not possible. In wireless power transfer, a transmitter device connected to a power source, such as the mains power line, transmits power by electromagnetic fields across an intervening space to one or more receiver devices, where it is converted back to electric power and utilized. Wireless power techniques fall into two categories, non-radiative and radiative. In near-field or non-radiative techniques, power is transferred over short distances by magnetic fields using inductive coupling between coils of wire or in a few devices by electric fields, using capacitive coupling between electrodes. Applications of this type are electric toothbrush charges, RFID tags, smart cards and charges for implantable medical devices like artificial cardiac pacemakers, and inductive powering or charging of electric vehicles like trains or buses. A current focus is to develop wireless systems to charge mobile and handheld computing devices such as cell phones, digital music players and portable computers without being tethered to a wall plug. In radiative or far-field techniques, also called power beaming, power is transmitted by beams of electromagnetic radiation, like microwaves or laser beams. These techniques can transport energy longer distances but must be aimed at the receiver. Proposed applications for this type are solar power satellites and wireless power drone aircraft. An important issue associated with all wireless power systems is limiting the exposure of people and other living things to potentially injurious electromagnetic fields. Overview Wireless power transmission is a collective term that refers to a number of different technologies for transmitting power by means of time-varying electromagnetic fields. The technologies, listed in the table below, differ in the distance over which they can transmit power efficiently, whether the transmitter must be aimed at the receiver, and in the type of electromagnetic energy they use. Time-varying electric fields, magnetic fields, radio waves, microwaves, or infrared or visible light waves. In general a wireless power system consists of a transmitter device connected to a source of power such as mains power lines, which converts the power to a time-varying electromagnetic field, and one or more receiver devices which receive the power and convert it back to DC or AC electric power which is consumed by an electrical load. In the transmitter the input power is converted to an oscillating electromagnetic field by some type of antenna device. The word antenna is used loosely here. It may be a coil of wire which generates a magnetic field, a metal plate which generates an electric field, an antenna which radiates radio waves, or a laser which generates light. A similar antenna or coupling device in the receiver converts the oscillating fields to an electric current. An important parameter which determines the type of waves is the frequency f in hertz of the oscillations. The frequency determines the wavelength lambda equals c f of the waves which carry the energy across the gap, where c is the velocity of light. Wireless power uses the same fields and waves as wireless communication devices like radio. Another familiar technology which involves power transmitted without wires by electromagnetic fields, used in cell phones, radio and television broadcasting, and Wi-Fi. In radio communication the goal is the transmission of information. So the amount of power reaching the receiver is unimportant as long as it is enough that the signal-to-noise ratio is high enough that the information can be received intelligibly. In wireless communication technologies, generally, only tiny amounts of power reach the receiver. 
By contrast, in wireless power, the amount of power received is the important thing, so the efficiency is the more significant parameter. For this reason wireless power technologies are more limited by distance than wireless communication technologies. These are the different wireless power technologies. Field regions. Electric and magnetic fields are created by charged particles in matter such as electrons. A stationary charge creates an electrostatic field in the space around it. A steady current of charges creates a static magnetic field around it. The above fields contain energy, but cannot carry power because they are static. However, time-varying fields can carry power. Accelerating electric charges, such as are found in an alternating current of electrons in a wire, create time-varying electric and magnetic fields in the space around them. These fields can exert oscillating forces on the electrons in a receiving antenna, causing them to move back and forth. These represent alternating current which can be used to power a load. The oscillating electric and magnetic fields surrounding moving electric charges in an antenna device can be divided into two regions. Depending on distance range from the antenna, the boundary between the regions is somewhat vaguely defined. The fields have different characteristics in these regions, and different technologies are used for transmitting power. Near field or non-radiative region, this means the area within about one wavelength of the antenna. In this region the oscillating electric and magnetic fields are separate and power can be transferred via electric fields by capacitive coupling between metal electrodes or via magnetic fields by inductive coupling between coils of wire. These fields are not radiative, meaning the energy stays within a short distance of the transmitter. If there is no receiving device or absorbing material within their limited range to couple to, no power leaves the transmitter. The range of these fields is short, and depends on the size and shape of the antenna devices, which are usually coils of wire. The fields, and thus the power transmitted, decrease exponentially with distance. So if the distance between the two antennas range is much larger than the diameter of the antennas, damp very little power will be received. Therefore, these techniques cannot be used for long-distance power transmission. Resonance, such as resonant inductive coupling, can increase the coupling between the antennas greatly allowing efficient transmission at somewhat greater distances, although the fields still decrease exponentially. Therefore the range of near-field devices is conventionally divided into two categories, short range, up to about one antenna diameter, drained dant. This is the range over which ordinary non-resonant capacitive or inductive coupling can transfer practical amounts of power. Mid-range, up to 10 times the antenna diameter. Drange, 10 dant. This is the range over which resonant capacitive or inductive coupling can transfer practical amounts of power. Far field or radiative region, beyond about one wavelength of the antenna. The electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other and propagate as an electromagnetic wave. Examples are radio waves, microwaves, or light waves. This part of the energy is radiative, meaning it leaves the antenna whether or not there is a receiver to absorb it. The portion of energy which does not strike the receiving antenna is dissipated and lost to the system. The amount of power emitted as electromagnetic waves by an antenna depends on the ratio of the antenna's size down to the wavelength of the wave's lambda, which is determined by the frequency. Lambda equals C, F. At low frequencies F where the antenna is much smaller than the size of the waves, dance less than less than lambda, very little power is radiated. Therefore the near-field devices above, which use lower frequencies, radiate almost none of their energy as electromagnetic radiation. Antennas about the same size as the wavelength dance lambda such as monopole or dipole antennas, radiate power efficiently. But the electromagnetic waves are radiated in all directions, so if the receiving antenna is far away, only a small amount of the radiation will hit it. 
Therefore, these can be used for short-range, inefficient power transmission but not for long-range transmission. However, unlike fields, electromagnetic radiation can be focused by reflection or refraction into beams. By using a high-gain antenna or optical system which concentrates the radiation into a narrow beam aimed at the receiver, it can be used for long-range power transmission from the Rayleigh criterion, to produce the narrow beams necessary to focus a significant amount of the energy on a distant receiver, an antenna must be much larger than the wavelength of the waves used, and greater than greater than lambda equals c, f. Practical beam power devices require wavelengths in the centimeter region or below, corresponding to frequencies above 1 gigahertz, in the microwave range or above.